I'm back. I'm back, guys. I'm not dead. Midnight, Eclipse, CRN, and I done golden. So we have four to do a first impression of today, and uh, let's jump into it. Hey, friends. Let me go back to another video today on Giz Audio, and yes, I'm back. <laughs> Sorry I've been gone for like the past two weeks. I got extremely sick, and I was not able to record any videos at all. Yeah, I, I was just dead. It was really bad. But I'm back now, and I have a first impression for you guys today. Four IEMs to test out. I have the CRN, the Eclipse, the Idun, and the Midnight. Three of which are all critical IEMs. Crin's been um very busy, as you can see. <laughs> Three IEMs in like a month. Oh my god. The song I'll be testing the IEM with today is gonna be called 247 by Lust, and this is the Chemical Remix. I really like this song. It's a Japanese song, but it has Thai in it, and I'm Thai, so it, it was a really nice cameo. I just love the song, all right? Listen to it. It's really good. Truth be told, I've listened to the CRN and the Eclipse before, but I was so sick that I don't really remember what they sound like anymore, and I really didn't spend too much time with them. So with those two, it's not gonna be a true first impression, but it's close enough to a true first impression. I mean, I don't remember what they sound like anyway. So let's start out with the cheapest one here, the CRN. Oh, look, it is the box for the CRN. Now I have two of these, believe it or not. I have this one now, this is actual CRN, and I have one that is the CEX Pro before it became the CRN. Now, if you don't know, they're the same. One just got released before Crin announced it was his collaboration, and the CRN is the one after he announced it was his collaboration. But everything inside, exactly the same. Nothing too special inside. So these are $35, which are very, very affordable price, of course. Now, let's play the song. It is so well balanced, yeah. It sounds great. Just like any other Crin IEMs, the tuning is always great. This one's no difference. Now, the only thing I would say is that being that it's $35, I did expect some technical performance limitations, which these have. The soundstage is rather narrow on these and they can come across a bit like kind of mushed up. So it's not the most resolving IEM out there on the market, but it is only $35, so it is as resolving as a lot of other IEMs within the same price bracket. So with these, I would say the biggest selling point for them would be the tuning. The balanced tuning, the natural tuning, they sound fantastic when it comes to that department. The vocals come across correct and everything just comes across nice. The bass is well controlled. Here the treble is not as sparkly, but it is, you know, not, I would say, not lacking in any way. I think it's just polite. It's not, you know, highlighting any micro details or anything like that. It's polite. But at the end of the day, it sounds really nice. And if you've never heard balance or natural tuning before, you're missing out. And if you buy a lot of IEMs under $50, you're going to hear a lot more of the uh, V shape variety of tuning, which is a lot of bass, a lot of treble, recess, mid-range. So most of you who are buying IEMs at this price point have never experienced a true natural balance tuning before. I urge you, you have to try. And these, I would say, are the only pair of IEMs under 50 that I know of that has this kind of tuning. And when you, once you hear it, you understand. They sound fantastic. Just don't go into it expecting any super high level technicalities or high resolvability. These don't have that. These resolve like a typical KC and the soundstage is rather narrow. But if you want to experience just a nicely balanced tune for the first time on the cheap, these are the way to go. And these probably are the only ones to go. Besides these, the next one, if you want balanced tuning, the next step up would be literally the Yume, which is $150. Or maybe the Midnight, which is the upgraded Yume, which I have back here. We'll, we'll go over that one in a second here. But, but yeah, if you want a balanced tuning, these are the cheapest one you can get. The next one is near $200. 35 bucks, I think everyone to try this one out. Moving up the price now, we have the Eclipse, which I actually already unboxed. Like I said, I already listened to it. So I have it right here. Here you go. This is the front of the box, back of the box. Inside you'll find a manual and the carrying case and whatever accessories live in there is pretty much exactly the same as the FH3. So if you own the FH3, the unboxing experience is pretty much the same. Here are the IEMs up close. Look at that, just all black. And the difference is between this and FH3 is that the Eclipse has only two little wave lines and FH3 has three. Oh, oh god. Wow. 
that is a lot of bass. <laughs> it just hits you like womp womp. Ah, uh, man. Uh, it's a lot of bass. So his tagline, um, this, his tagline for this IEM, uh, it's true. There's a lot of bass here. But the best part about this is that it doesn't bleed. It, it just doesn't bleed. There's so much of it, but it does not bleed. Now, it will be too much for some. If you're a bass head, you'll love this. If you like bass of any kind, you're probably gonna like this. But if you don't like bass, then I would say stay away from this one. It's a lot of bass, man. The clips have super strong but well-controlled bass. I am impressed. You don't get this quality in IEMs that are relatively inexpensive like this one, right? Normally you see these kind of bass quality in IEMs that are a little bit more expensive, I would say two, 300 plus. Mid bass just slams, it hits, it's powerful. Sub bass is there, but vocals are still so clean. Oh, I want to open the midnight first. Should I open the midnight first? Yeah, I should open the midnight first. So the midnight, if you guys do not know, is an upgraded Yume. Amazingly natural tuning, great vocal, great orchestra or instrumental I am. I love the Yume a lot. And you guys know, because I recommend the Yume all the time, but the Yume has a lot of flaws. Being that the bass power, very lacking. Resolvability, very lacking. So this, the Midnight, hopefully fixes a lot of those issues. Look at that. Critical XC audio. Look at that, that's Kryn, dude. Kryn. Bro, what are you doing with Ringo? <laughs> There's this little envelope, probably some like documents, warranty and all the stuff, the stickers are in here. I'm not gonna open that right now, but here's what it looks inside the box. Now it looks a little bit different from the Yume box from what I remember, or maybe it's exactly the same. I don't know. I don't remember that far back into my career. Oh, look at them. Midnight on one side and C Audio logo on the other. They look nice. Kryn has this whole thing going on about like anything solar related. Eclipse, Midnight, he has the Dusk, he has the Dawn. You know, night and day related. The CRN is kind of like the uh, forgotten love child, I guess. I'm excited for the Midnight the most because I love, 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 love the UK. Uh, I don't need to listen to a lot of this. I, I don't, I don't. It's good. The first thing I notice is that it fixes the bass of the Yume. It has bass now, and actually good bass. Not as strong as the Eclipse. Honestly, Eclipse bass is a little bit too much for me. Yume bass is perfect. The bass is there, it's presence, but it's never too strong. And the vocals of the Yume is kept. It shines so well still. It reminds me a lot of the original Yume, just better at a lot of other things. Like the bass is better and also the technicalities, resolvability, the stage is wider and it actually sounds more resolving. Overall, a successful improvement. You know, I have the Yume right here actually. Oh man, you guys are gonna get to see my, my IEM case. Oh, look at that. <laughs> well, actually all of these are IEM case. I have this, I have this, and I have another box like right here. But yeah, I have the Yume sitting right there. And man, I'm looking at it now and it looks so sad because I don't think I'm ever gonna use the Yume ever again now that I, you know, the midnight exists. It is everything that is good about the Yume, but without as many flaws as the Yume, if you know what I mean. Now, the question might be again that if you own the Yume, is it redundant to buy the Midnight then? I would say no, because it is a significant upgrade. It's just better in a lot of ways. You're gonna enjoy the Midnight a lot more than you enjoy the Yume. Lastly, we have I done Gold. Yeah, this is an upgrade to the original Idun or Idun. I don't know how to actually pronounce it. So I've never heard the original. So I can't compare the original to the new one. So I'm just gonna listen to the new one as is. If Canaria does one thing well, is packaging. I love all of their boxes. Man, you have to love Canera stuff, dude. How can you not like them? Look at this. Look at that. The IMs are really pretty, really nice looking case as well. <gasps> Oh my God. And the cables that they provide are their new $50 upgrade cable. I forgot the actual name for it. I'm gonna leave it on the screen for you guys right now. They're nice. They feel really soft. I have actually all of Canera's upgrade cables. <laughs> I have them all like right here. And I like all of them. I legitimately like all of them. This one is the only one I don't have yet. Now I do. Yeah, looks really nice. This is the IEM up close. Very pretty. Even the tips have a different color than the usual white. So yeah, yeah, I dig this. Hmm. 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 Man, 
I don't know how to feel about this one. Like it's kind of a neutral, like run in the mill, like right in the middle for me. Like it's all right, you know, like it's all right. I don't love it. I don't hate it. Overall, it's um, kind of average for me. Yeah, just kind of average. Nothing really too good, nothing really too bad. All right, that's all for IEMs. Now let's do a little bit of recap, shall we? My favorite of today, hands down, 100% is the Midnight. Like it's just awesome. Like I love the Yume, I rave about the Yume a lot. It's everything I raved about and more. The second one that I love the most would be the Eclipse right here. Now, the only thing I have about the Eclipse that's not for me, personally, just for my taste, is the bass is a lot. There's a lot of bass and I can't see myself listening to this all the time, but for bass head, you'll love it. The bass, like I said, is strong, but it's very well controlled. Like it's good quality bass, it's good stuff. So third one, CRN, I really like this, $35. I still stand by what I said about it. Everyone need to try this. Anyone who have not tried a balanced or natural tuning need to try the CRN. And then the fourth one, the done. Kind of an average for me so far. I need to test this one out more. The one thing I love the most about it though, it's the design. It's just a beautiful looking IEM. And if you guys don't know, that's the Yggdrasil tree. It's uh, from Norse mythology. It's a tree of life. I'm a nerd like that. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, it's good to be back. It's good not to be sick again. And I hope you guys had a fantastic holiday, new year, and Christmas if you guys celebrate those. And um, a lot more videos to come this month. <laughs>